Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you on how to install Card Dealer Pro on your server. So kindly watch this video carefully so that you understand how I did this. And if you're a new member here, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that anytime I post a video like this, it should be useful for you. Thank you. Alright, so this script will be installing. And here is a price. They do sell it on code can you so if you need this script you kindly message me on my whatsapp number below i'll be selling this script for a cheaper price for you so thank you oh uh, so let's start this process now you go to your c panel as you can see i'm on my c panel then you go to fire manager start going to fire manager here is where i want to upload the script and I already used the script already. So, so here is the script. So for those of you that have not uploaded the script, you just need to upload it. Click on the upload button here to upload it. Then when it has been done uploading, you need to extract it. You need to extract it. After extracting is you close it as you can see there's another folder here you click on this folder you click on this main you select all this and move it to move it to your publish html move it to your publish html then you after moving it to your publish HTML, you check your domain to see if it has been if your site has been live. So as you can see now, it has been live and all the requestments has been successfully. All the requestment is good. So now what you need to do now is just to click on next. Click on next. Now what you need to do now is to put in your database put in your database here for those of you that don't have database all right let me just do this once and for all now here is how you create your database you put in anything here you put in anything there on your database and you can see put the same thing for me i will put in the same thing there for password you can use any password of your choice. Use any password of your choice. All right, so as you can see now, let's start up the installation process. Let's go back first. Now they say let's put in our database password here. Because you have already copied it so now let's go back and copy our database user do not forget that our database user and the database name is the same thing so i'll be putting the same thing here too so now let's start up this as you can see it puts your company name company name here this is my own company name so let's do this to see how it goes all right so as you can see now we will need to delete a file so that our site can be live when there's a file we will need to delete go back go back to your server this setup file all right, let me show you why you need to delete this file. Let me show you why you will need to delete this file. For security reasons, look at it. There's a please remove setup directly first. All right, so now let's go back to remove this file. Now delete this file on your server. Then let's go back and refresh this page. As you can see, it is now working perfectly well so now what we need to do now is to check our admin dashboard to see if admin dashboard is also working well
Now log into your admin dashboard. Put in your password. Now click on login. Wow, so as you can see, here is the admin dashboard and here is everything about the admin dashboard. Thank you for watching this video to the end.